Ramadan Kareem. I can't believe today is actually the first day of Ramadan. Well, actually, let me know if you guys are fasting today or if you're not. I feel like this year there has been a lot of division between communities and even families about like what day we should be fasting. Even in my own family, I am the only one fasting today, which is so strange. This has never happened before. But the way it happened was last night, my brother and my dad were kind of going back and forth and they were like, I don't know. We probably shouldn't follow um, the like the, our local community, which is ISGH. They're like, we should probably just wait for the moon sighting since there hasn't been one, which we just never do. We kind of always go with the community and what the community leaders are telling us. So that was just kind of like random and it came out of the blue. So then my mom was going back and forth and she was like, I don't know, I just don't wanna fast without them. And so they ended up making a decision and I was not at their house. I was at my apartment, restfully sleeping, and I wake up and I find out I'm the only one fasting, which if I had woken up for Suhoor, I would have found out that, you know, I would have got the memo that we're not fasting today, Jay, like just wait till Tuesday. But guess what? I miss the work. So we are off to a great start, but I'm not complaining. I'm actually so excited for today. But it's already like six o'clock in the afternoon. I basically slept until 12, then I had some work to get done and I just now got ready and put on my hijab and makeup and my camera is actually dead. So I'm filming on my cell phone. So I'm actually not that prepared today. I'm just kind of on the struggle bus, but I'm about to do some laundry. Then I'm gonna go pick up a grocery order. I'm gonna pick up some coffee beans because I want to have coffee when I open my iftar, so I'm gonna go grab that. I'm just gonna take you guys along. But right now, I'm gonna show you guys my abaya that I'm wearing today. This is so funny that I'm vlogging on my cell phone, but we are gonna just work with what we have. This is the beautiful abaya I am wearing today. It's a two-piece from Amazon. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. It has like this little cardigan to throw over top, a sleeveless under slip, and then a tie waist thing. And it just looks so cute on. It looks really, really effortless, but really trendy. And it's modest. So, you guys, I'm going to be sharing a ton of, like, really cute abaya inspiration throughout this month. So, if you guys are looking for some abaya, abayas, then either check out my Instagram or maybe I'll link them in my daily vlogs. But I just got done filming some stories for some of the charities that I'm working with this year. So, I will put, like, like screenshots here on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But please consider donating. I am working with two charities this year. Both we are raising funds for Gaza because that only makes sense. That is where we need the most assistance in the world. I'm so excited to partner up with Bridge to Validity. They are a new and a nonprofit organization. And I actually know the girl personally. She is part of my local community here in Houston. Her parents were actually visiting Gaza, her mom and her sister, and they got trapped there for 30 plus days. She actually sued the U.S. government. And then when her parents came back, she decided to do a tribute to Beledi, which is her hometown. And she wanted to give back and help those that were displaced and who just need assistance because she heard all of the horror stories firsthand from her mom and sister. So I thought that was so incredible. And I definitely wanted to partner up with her. So she's actually working with a optometrist on site in Gaza. She, the optometrist herself got displaced and now she is living in Rafa. So yeah, we're raising funds for glasses. Apparently one out of four people in Gaza do not have proper uh, specs. They actually lost their specs. Either they got broken or whatnot. So we're raising funds for that. And then the other uh, nonprofit I'm working with is Human Concern USA. This is a general aid for Gaza. So you can choose where you want your money to be used, whether it's like food or water assistance, medical assistance, uh, sponsoring an orphan, providing a shelter. So great things. I'm actually in my laundry room right now. I'm going to quickly do my laundry. So you guys know every year I try to finish the Quran. So this year what I want to do differently is finish the Quran in English as well, because that way I can actually understand what it is that I'm reading. So I don't want to just like read it just to read it, you know? So let me show you guys my setup. So if you guys have seen my last few videos where I was decorating for Ramadan, I set up this prayer corner. And actually in the video, I had it this way just for the video aesthetics, like I needed the lighting. But in reality, the Qibla is that way, which actually works out because I get this beautiful view when I'm praying late at night or early in the morning and I get the sunrise. So this is my little setup. I just have prayer rugs. That is what I pray with 
my abaya and my um, hijab. And then I have pillows so I'm comfortable when I'm sitting and reading. And then these are the books that I am reading. So this is the Quran that I am going through this year. My friend actually gifted it to me. So I went through and marked every chapter. So this will be so, so helpful. I haven't really, if I'm being completely honest, done my reading for today. I actually plan on doing that right after I open Iftar because Iftar is in about 30 minutes. And then this is another book that I actually found off of a uh, recommendation on TikTok. It basically has the medicine to every emotion you feel. So whether it's like agony or displeasure or sadness, um, there's like nice little hadith and ayahs that will kind of walk you through those emotions. So I thought that was pretty nifty. So I'm going to do that here shortly. So I put on this hoodie. I'm going to be wearing a ton on, in my vlogs because since it has a hoodie, I don't have to wear hijab like early in the morning when I'm sharing my suhoor with you guys. my fast I filmed it for TikTok so I really couldn't film two places at once since I'm only using my cell phone today but I'm having the kebab rolls that I heated up they're actually really good they're kebabs rolled up in paratha with uh, sweet sauce like sweet chutney and um, spicy chutney like a hari mochi so yummy I was just about to leave, but I got this package at my doorstep and I'm just too anxious. I want to see what it is, so I'm going to open it up before I head out. They're a Muslim-owned business. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I'm sure they sent over... Wait, what? Okay, I thought this was going to be Ramadan decoration for me, but they sent over these prayer mats, prayer rugs. That can be colored. How fun is that? Ismail and Esau are going to love this. I had put on my stories if anybody knew of any like arts and craft or crafty like business businesses to support that were Ramadan themed. So this is a prayer rug. Let me actually open it. This is so cute. They're going to love this. This is machine washable and you can color it and customize it. Also came with a really cute tote bag. Oh my god, that is so cute. They're gonna love that. Oh my god, I actually wanted this. Especially for Issa and a smile again. Because with kids, you guys will come to learn that Ramadan is just so much more special because you can pass on not only traditions, but like see the joy in kids learning and getting excited about their own religion. So I wanted them to have like a um, a box, like a money bank, a bank account, is that what it's called? Like a piggy bank? That is so cute. It has a little slit at the top. It's very sleek. Oh my God, they're gonna love this. Okay, this is the next box. Oh, these are the little um, jars. <gasps> so cute. Oh. oh, this is so cute. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. So this is the lid to the jar. You can't tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. It's a little jar. It's like ceramic and this beautiful taupe color. And you can fill it up with either dates or cookies or chocolate. That is so, so cute. Another little box. It actually blown away because I was literally looking up with candles. Oh, this smells of like a spa. How nice is that? That is so cute. Luxury oud scented candle. You can't tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. It's a little minaret jar. It's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this somewhere. How cute is that? And then there's the other one. 
This is so pretty. The details and everything is stunning. Okay, now I'm gonna head out. Hello guys, it is Ramadan day two. I am now vlogging while having iftar. We are at the masjid and they served the iftar. We came here for like a halakha and then afterwards they served us the iftar. So food was actually sponsored by La Pasta. I'm actually having a very hard time keeping up with vlogging because I am doing short form content for TikTok. So like I just can't keep up because when I film one clip, I don't remember to film another one for YouTube. So if you guys want to get like a full view of my entire day, starting from Sephora all the way through that away, then make sure you're watching my YouTube shorts. And then my vlogs are just going to be like, just whenever I have time to pick up the camera. Okay. Just got to La Pasha. So cute. I love that they do Ramadan decor. And I see a nice little setup inside. Look how freaking cute this is. I love the little metallic balloon setup. So cute. Buffet's down there. <laughs> We're at La Pasha. It was we just so good. Having the buffet. It was so good. <laughs> and are you smooching? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we got Haludi in the house. If you guys don't follow him, you should follow him. He, uh, what do you do? Food vlogging. <laughs> food vlogging. Hello, food places. That's what he does. So, this is the Pasha. He did? Oh, he's okay. But he came in his own car. We should go. We're going to get late. It was really nice. No, I am praying. I'm gonna quickly vlog okay, this. <laughs> Samosas, pakoras. Yeah, <clears throat> I haven't had a spa like this nice. in the last five days, so yeah. I'm thriving. I bought the skewers. Everyone said it was good. He says, yeah. yeah. cake. Umrah to you. Well, it's not edible, first of all. The, the frosting is. I just lick it all. I was to lick it all. You say you cut it. Oh yeah, and to Shabazz. And to We just got done building this masjid. It actually took a little bit because the pieces were a little bit difficult to put inside. But once I got the hang of it, it was so easy. And you. Do you like the masjid? Where's I'm going to put this on YouTube. Fire. You can watch this on YouTube. Where's Look how big it is inside. Fire. He's pretending like he's like a Rockets player. It's actually really spacious inside. So kids can actually go inside and pray if they wanted to. But that is so cool. I'll definitely recommend Checking them out. I got it from Eid Gallery and I will tag them down below. Good morning. It's like 7.20 now. I just got done 
journaling in my dua journal this has been so nice because it helps me reflect on things that i typically wouldn't reflect on the journal basically has a few prompts that you fill out every single day the one that i really love is today's happy moments because truthfully that's not something that i really reflect on on a day-to-day -day basis like overall i know what i'm happy about but like on a day-to-day -day basis i'm not thinking about like okay what made me happy today so i love that i also really love that it asks you the dua that you're making for because even though i'm making dua every single day like having to write it down is making me be a little bit more intentional and the other okay and the last thing i love this journal highly recommend you guys buy it. it's definitely worth the money and i feel like overall it will improve who you are as a person but the last one that i really love is the prompt today i learned dot 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 i really like this because when i left corporate i felt like i wasn't learning on a day-to-day -day basis anymore and it's so silly because i thought like knowledge was only within the realm of like corporate life or like within the workforce and i never realized that i'm not like learning something new for myself on a day-to-day -day basis so today i relearned a surah that i used to know but i like kind of forgot the words so i relearned that and although it's not something technically new new it's something new that i learned so that's exciting it's about 7 30 i'm staying awake after sahur every day because i just find myself I'm having a lot of energy, especially since I'm drinking caffeine in the morning. So I'm going to start editing so I can upload my TikTok for it this morning. I'm also going to start editing this vlog. I also want to say that I wanted to vlog every day for YouTube, but I just kind of fell off because it was just so hard to manage two like separate videos. So I'm going to try to do it for next week. And if not, then I'll just continue weekly vlogs. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. By the way, if I get any questions about this prayer, outfit i will link it down below it's like this one piece prayer set that i love so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to check out the two charities that i'm working with this ramadan they will be linked down below one of them is so crucial we need money and assistance as soon as possible so if you guys can donate that would mean so much it is raising donations for glasses one out of four people in gaza have lost their specs either because of the airstrikes because they left them back home or they've broken or they just don't have a renewed prescription so if you guys can help them have a better eyesight that would be so helpful hope you guys enjoyed this vlog bye